Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mattia. I'm a professional time lapse and hyperlapse photographer living in Madrid. And in today's video, I want to show you the best export settings I use for my time lapse. Let's roll the intro. Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. So in the last few years, I've been asked a lot of times how do I export my time lapse to get the best result. So today I will go through the different export settings I use in After Effects and Final Cut Pro to get that crispy video on YouTube or on other social media. First of all, we need to create a master file which will be at the maximum resolution. So first of all, let's open After Effects and um, import the raw sequence that you already edited in uh, Lightroom or Air Time Labs. So go to the top menu and click Composition and uh, on uh, and then add to Render Queue. Now on the bottom, the Render Queue will open and we'll find you the sequence here. And uh, on the Output module, you need to click the blue text and the pop-up menu will open. And here you can select QuickTime as Format and uh, ProRes 4444 as Codec in Format options. And last, in video output, select millions of colors. Now render it and you will have a master file with the best quality possible. Side note here, normally when I export a time lapse, I always do it directly from After Effects instead of Media Encoder, because in my personal experience, After Effects is much faster than Media Encoder. So now that you have uh, your master file, it's time to clean it up by removing any birds, shake or remaining flickering. And uh, if you want to learn some technique I use to clean up my time lapse, you can check out my playlist uh, over here about tutorials. And once the time lapse is clean, I render it again uh, with the same export settings of the master file that we did before. And now we'll start working on Final Cut Pro to make um, a film for YouTube or an Instagram post. So when I'm done with my edit in Final Cut Pro and I want to upload it to the internet, I use a couple of options, uh, depending on the resolution of the video I'm uploading or where I'm going to upload, upload it, like is it for YouTube, Instagram post, Facebook or Instagram stories. For YouTube I export in 8K or 4K using the QuickTime format and the codec that I'm using is the H.265. Uh, which will give me a smaller file, but still with a great resolution. Instead, for Instagram or Facebook, uh, I'm exporting in 1080 by 1350 or 1920 by 1280, uh, depending on the time lapse uh, I want to share it, so it can be seen better on, on the platforms. I will still use the QuickTime format, but instead of the H.265, I will use the H.264 to get the best results. And if I want to share on my Instagram story or TikTok, I will export it in 1080 by 1920, which is vertical, and export on the same settings at the Instagram, Instagram post. And that's pretty much it. Of course, if you have any question, please leave it down below in the comment, and I will make sure to reply to all of you. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you find it useful, please punch the like button until it turns blue. It helps a lot. And thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao ciao!